Have you ever wondered what the future of work looks like? Imagine a world where 9 to 5 is a thing of the past and where job security is replaced by flexibility. This is not some distant future. This is here. This is now. This is the gig economy. An unseen workforce toiling away in the background is shaping our world in ways we are only beginning to understand. The gig economy is transforming the way we work, giving rise to a new breed of workers who value independence over stability. They are the rideshare drivers navigating the city streets, the freelancers typing away at their keyboards, and the delivery couriers zipping from door to door. Their office is wherever they are, and their work schedule is as flexible as they want it to be. The traditional definitions of work and employee are being challenged as more and more people are drawn to this new way of working. The numbers tell their own story. Millions of individuals around the world are now part of this gig economy, trading the safety of a steady paycheck for the freedom of being their own boss. But this shift isn't happening in a vacuum. It's being facilitated by the rise of digital platforms like Uber, Airbnb and Upwork, which connect gig workers with those who need their services. These platforms are the lifeblood of the gig economy, providing the infrastructure that makes all of this possible. Yet as the gig economy grows, it brings with it a host of questions and challenges. What does it mean for job security, worker rights and the social safety net? How is it affecting traditional employment models? And perhaps most importantly, where is it all heading? As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore these questions and more shedding light on the unseen workforce that's redefining the world of work. So, what does this shift towards the gig economy mean for us? That's the question we'll be seeking to answer as we embark on this journey of discovery and understanding. To understand the future, we must first define the present. So, what exactly is the gig economy? Simply put, it's a labor market characterized by short-term contracts or freelance work rather than permanent jobs. It's a free market system where organizations and independent workers engage in short-term work engagements. This shift from traditional employment models has been facilitated by the advent of digital platforms that connect gig workers with potential employers. Platforms like Uber, Airbnb and Upwork have become household names, reshaping the employment landscape and cultivating a new generation of independent workers. Uber, for instance, has revolutionized the transportation industry by providing a platform for drivers to offer rides on their own schedules. Airbnb has done the same for hospitality, allowing homeowners to rent out their properties or rooms for short periods. And Upwork has created a marketplace for freelancers of all stripes, from graphic designers to virtual assistants. But it's not just these giants steering the ship. Countless other platforms have sprung up, catering to niche markets and specific skill sets. The gig economy, in essence, has democratized the labor market, breaking down barriers and opening up opportunities for workers around the globe. Now let's talk numbers. Over the past decade, the gig economy has seen exponential growth. According to a study by the McKinsey Global Institute, up to 30% of the working age population in the United States and the European Union, that's around 162 million people, are independent workers. That's a significant portion of the workforce operating outside of traditional employment. Moreover, the economic impact of the gig economy is substantial. A study by the Brookings Institution found that in 2020, the gig economy contributed approximately $1.2 trillion to the US economy. That's about 6% of the country's GDP. And these numbers are only expected to rise, with some estimates suggesting that by 2025, gig workers could make up half of the US workforce. But it's not just the numbers that tell the story. It's the people behind them. The gig economy has opened doors for those who value flexibility and independence over the traditional 9-to-5 grind. It's provided opportunities for those who may have been left out of the traditional employment market, including students, retirees, and people with disabilities. However, this shift towards gigs and away from traditional employment isn't without its challenges. While the gig economy offers flexibility and independence, it also presents issues related to job security, benefits, and worker rights. But every coin has two sides, doesn't it? This new work culture is no exception. As we delve deeper into the gig economy, we'll explore the complexities and contradictions that come with this revolutionary shift in our work culture. Change is the only constant, they say. 
And nowhere is this more evident than in the evolving landscape of employment. The traditional 9-to-5 grind is gradually being replaced by a more flexible and dynamic work paradigm known as the gig economy. Not too long ago, the ideal job was considered to be one with a steady salary, fixed hours, and a long-term contract. It presented a sense of security and predictability. But today, an increasing number of people are choosing to chart their own course, opting for freelance or gig work. Why, you might ask? The answer lies in the allure of flexibility and autonomy. Gig work allows individuals to be their own bosses, to choose their projects, set their rates, and decide their working hours. Picture a graphic designer working from a beach in Bali, or a software engineer coding late into the night from the comfort of his home. The gig economy is making these scenarios more commonplace, breaking the barriers of traditional workspaces and schedules. But it's not just about flexibility. For many, gig work is a necessity. It provides an opportunity for income diversification, acting as a safety net in times of economic uncertainty. The gig economy has been a lifeline for many during unexpected layoffs or periods of unemployment. Now let's hear from some gig workers themselves. Take Sarah, for instance, a freelance writer who left her full-time job to pursue her passion for writing. Sarah loves the Freedom Gig work offers, but admits that it comes with its share of challenges. Unpredictable income, lack of benefits, and inconsistent work opportunities are some of the issues she grapples with. Then we have Raj, a ride-sharing driver who turned to gig work after losing his job. For Raj, gig work is a means to an end. It helps him pay the bills, but he yearns for the security of a traditional job. So, while the gig economy might seem like a dream come true for some, it presents a different reality for others. The freedom and flexibility come with a trade-off, and that is the unpredictability and insecurity that gig work often entails. The shift from traditional employment to gig work also raises questions about worker rights and protections. In a traditional job, employees have defined rights and benefits like paid sick leave, health insurance and retirement contributions. But in the gig economy, where workers are often classified as independent contractors, these benefits are typically absent. This shift in employment patterns is not just a trend, it's a paradigm shift, a new way of work that is here to stay. It's reshaping our understanding of what work is, what it means to be an employee, and how work fits into our lives. But are we ready to tackle these challenges? Every rose has its thorns. And so it goes with the gig economy, an alluring field of independent work that while offering flexibility and freedom, also comes with its share of challenges. The core of these challenges revolves around the debate over worker rights. In the traditional employment model, employees are entitled to a host of benefits such as health insurance, paid leave, retirement plans, and more. These are often seen as standards, hallmarks of a fair and just workplace. However, in the gig economy, these benefits are not guaranteed. Gig workers are typically classified as independent contractors rather than employees. This classification, while allowing for flexibility, also means that gig workers are often left without the security net provided by these benefits. Job security is another pressing issue. Traditional employment usually comes with the assurance of a steady paycheck. You work. You get paid. In the gig economy, however, work is often project-based. This means that income can be unpredictable, varying from month to month. For some, this unpredictability is a source of stress and financial instability. Moreover, the classification of gig workers as independent contractors brings up the question of worker rights. As contractors, gig workers often lack the protections that employees have. This includes the right to form unions and collectively bargain, protections against workplace discrimination and more. This classification has been a point of contention, leading to legal battles in various parts of the world. Some argue that gig workers should be classified as employees, entitled to the same protections and benefits as their traditional counterparts. Others argue that this would undermine the flexibility and independence that is the hallmark of gig work. In places like California, this debate has led to legislative changes. The state passed a law, known as Assembly Bill 5, that reclassifies some gig workers as employees. However, 
this law has been met with resistance from gig economy companies and even some gig workers who value their independence. The question then becomes, how do we strike a balance? How do we ensure that gig workers have access to the protections and benefits they need without stripping away the flexibility and independence that makes gig work appealing in the first place? This is the conundrum of the gig economy. The answer may lie in creating a new classification of worker, one that blends the independence of a contractor with the protections of an employee. Some have proposed the idea of a dependent contractor, a worker who, while not an employee, still relies on a single company for the majority of their income and thus deserves some degree of protection and benefits. Others propose policy changes that decouple benefits from employment altogether. In this model, benefits like health insurance and retirement plans would be provided by the government or private entities and not tied to one's employment status. This would ensure that all workers, regardless of whether they are traditional employees or gig workers, have access to these essential benefits. The gig economy, with its myriad of opportunities and challenges, is reshaping our understanding of work and employment. It's forcing us to rethink worker rights and benefits, to question the very definitions of employee and contractor. While the gig economy offers the allure of flexibility and independence, it also exposes workers to risks and challenges not typically found in traditional employment models. These issues, and how we choose to address them, will have profound implications for the future of work. What does this mean for traditional employment? As we delve deeper into the ripple effects of the gig economy, we'll soon find out. The gig economy isn't just changing work, it's changing workplaces. Let's take a moment to delve deeper into how the gig economy is influencing traditional employment models. It's creating a ripple effect that's sweeping through industries and companies, altering long-established norms and expectations. The gig economy is shaking up the 9-to-5 workday, the cornerstone of traditional employment. Employees are now demanding greater flexibility. Companies are responding by offering flexible working hours, remote work options, and even results-oriented work environments. The idea is to value the output over the hours spent in an office chair. It's not just about working hours, though. The gig economy is also impacting how businesses recruit and retain talent. In a world where a skilled professional can become a freelancer with just a few mouse clicks, companies are having to rethink their strategies. They are starting to offer more competitive packages to attract and retain talent including better benefits, more training and development opportunities, and even equity stakes. But that's not all. The gig economy is also changing the way we think about job security. Traditionally, a secure job was one with a steady paycheck, a retirement plan, and health benefits. But in the gig economy, workers often have to provide these for themselves. This is prompting a re-evaluation of what job security really means. Some experts suggest that the future of job security could lie in skills and adaptability rather than long-term employment contracts. The gig economy is also influencing how companies structure their workforces. With the rise of project-based work, more companies are adopting a core and flex model. The core consists of permanent employees who perform the company's key functions, while the flex consists of freelancers or contract workers hired on a project basis. This allows companies to be more agile and responsive to market demands. But what does this mean for the future? According to experts, the gig economy could lead to a more fluid, dynamic labor market. There could be more opportunities for individuals to create their own career paths based on their skills, interests, and lifestyle choices. Companies, on the other hand, could benefit from a more diverse and flexible workforce. Yet some warn of potential drawbacks. They suggest that without proper regulation and safeguards, the gig economy could lead to increased job insecurity and inequality. They also warn of the risk of a race to the bottom in terms of wages and working conditions. In conclusion, the gig economy is not just a trend. It's a shift in the way we work and live. It's challenging traditional employment models and prompting us to rethink how we define work, employment, and job security. But this isn't just a local phenomenon. The world is your workplace. This is the mantra of the gig economy, a philosophy that has permeated borders and cultures, reshaping the global work landscape. 
In developed nations like the United States and the United Kingdom, the gig economy has become a significant part of the labor market. It is estimated that a third of the workforce in the United States is involved in gig work, contributing approximately a trillion dollars to the economy. Across the pond in the United Kingdom, around 15% of workers are self-employed, many of whom are part of the gig economy. But it's not just the developed world that has embraced this shift. Developing nations too are riding the gig economy wave. In Africa, for instance, digital platforms are enabling gig work in sectors ranging from agriculture to healthcare. In India, the gig economy is booming, with an estimate suggesting that by 2033, gig workers might constitute more than half of the workforce. From Asia to Africa, from Europe to the Americas, the gig economy is proving to be a game changer. It is bringing opportunities to those who might have been excluded from the traditional economy, offering flexibility that regular 9-to-5 jobs cannot, and creating an environment where skills and initiative are valued over degrees and titles. Yet, as much as the gig economy is a global phenomenon, its impact varies from region to region. Influenced by factors like technology adoption, regulatory frameworks, and cultural attitudes towards work. In some places, it is seen as a pathway to financial independence. In others, it is viewed with skepticism and concern over job security. The gig economy, thus, is a complex, multi-dimensional entity. Its global reach and impact are undeniable, yet its future is intertwined with local realities and challenges. It is a fascinating study of how work is being redefined in the 21st century a testament to the indomitable spirit of innovation and adaptation. So what does the future hold for the gig economy? The future is not something we enter, it's something we create. As we peer into the crystal ball of the gig economy, we see a landscape teeming with possibilities. It's an exciting, albeit challenging world that is being shaped by a multitude of factors. Regulatory changes, technological advancements, and the pandemic's ongoing influence. It's clear that the gig economy will continue to expand and evolve. The allure of flexibility and freedom that gig work offers is a powerful magnet, drawing in more and more individuals seeking to escape the confines of traditional employment. This growth, however, will not go unchecked. Governments and regulatory bodies worldwide are beginning to take notice, and we can expect to see more stringent regulations coming into effect. These might include better protection for gig workers including minimum wage guarantees, access to benefits, and even the right to unionize. Technological advancements will also play a significant role in shaping the gig economy's future. Automation, artificial intelligence, and machine learning are already making waves in various sectors. While it's easy to view these developments with trepidation, fearing job losses and redundancy, it's crucial to remember that technology also brings opportunities. New jobs and roles that we can't even imagine today will emerge, and those who adapt and evolve will find themselves at the forefront of exciting new employment landscapes. The aftermath of the pandemic is another factor that will shape the future of the gig economy. The pandemic has demonstrated the value of flexibility and resilience in the face of uncertainty. Companies have come to realize the benefits of having a flexible workforce that can scale up or down in response to fluctuating demand. For many, the gig economy has provided a lifeline, a means to continue working in the face of widespread layoffs and shutdowns. As we move into a post-pandemic world, the lessons learned will continue to influence how we work and how businesses operate. However, the future is not without its challenges. The gig economy's growth has raised serious concerns about job security, social inequality, and workers' rights. These issues will need to be addressed if the gig economy is to be sustainable in the long term. It will require a concerted effort from governments, businesses and workers themselves to ensure that the gig economy benefits all parties involved. So what does all this mean for you? It means that the future is filled with opportunities, but also with challenges. It means that the way we work is changing, and we need to be ready to adapt and evolve. It means that the gig economy with all its potential and pitfalls, will be a big part of our lives moving forward. The future of work is here. Are you ready to be a part of it? We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the gig economy. We've explored its current state, its challenges, and its potential future. But the conversation doesn't end here. 
We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the gig economy? Have you had experiences with gig work? Do you see it as a viable alternative to traditional employment? Let's keep the conversation going. Comment below with your thoughts and insights. We're eager to hear your perspective. If you found this video informative and insightful, give it a thumbs up. It helps us reach more people and continue providing content like this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We regularly publish content on a wide range of topics and we don't want you to miss out. Lastly, if you know someone who might be interested in this topic, share this video with them. Let's spread the knowledge and build a community of informed, engaged individuals. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more insightful content. Until then, keep learning, keep growing, and keep exploring the world of work in the 21st century.